Hello everybody, welcome to Deja Vu Creations and today we are going to be doing a little bodysuit um, that we are going to start in Marvelous Design. We're going to move over into Blender and Rig It and then we're going to go into Substance Painter and do some painting over there with our, you know, the texture. And then I want to do some stuff in Photoshop as well. So I'm going to be doing all four. Um, but I will walk you through the steps on some of these things that we're doing now. I'm just going to let you know, Substance Painter, I am learning and I'm telling you right now, I love Substance Painter. I'm so glad that I actually started it. Um, Photoshop is my number one. I do love Photoshop. I'm very familiar with Photoshop, but I know as a as time goes on, I'm going to learn as much as I can with that Substance Painter. And that's where I'm going to be doing a lot of my texturing. It is so much fun. Um, it is, you know, a little different for me, but I'm learning as, as I'm going. So I just kind of wanted to share you some, some of the things that I've been doing. And uh, maybe get you guys, you know, started in Substance Painter if you've never done it. And, you know, at first it was kind of scary for me because I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. But as I started learning and taking some classes on it, I've been um, enjoying it. So I just wanted you guys to see some of the things that I've been doing. And uh, this way you can add it to your your um, uh, meshes and stuff that you're making. So let's go ahead and get started in Marvelous Design first. And then we'll head over into Blender. So we'll get started here in a second. And as you guys know, in Marvelous Design, I love to texture my um, uh, my rig here. I always do it to a blue or a black or, you know, just a different darker color. And then I've also started doing my background color um, to a darker color just so that I can see my mesh, uh, my textures that I'm doing or my, whatever you call it, um, my clothing. So we're going to start off with just making a little rectangle here uh, for the back of the neck not the front just the back we're going to push this to the back and we're going to flip it over and we're going to start designing the um the bodysuit now you guys can do your bodysuit however you want i'm just doing mine this way and if you guys want to just follow along and do a little bit something different that's fine no problem all right so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to speed this up a little bit so it kind of go a little bit faster and we can move over, over into blender okay because we do have a lot to do we've got four different things that we're doing so let's get started All right, guys, we're going to do something a little different when we're texture um, baking these textures. So I'm going to put these, I'm going to do the bake texture here and I'm going to make sure it goes to the right destination. And all these here, like the diffuse, me, uh, metalist, metalist, I, I think, and normal and roughness. I like to have all those in my folder whenever I'm doing substance painter. It helps me out a little bit. So 
just make sure you've got your all your textures in that zero tile when you're in marvelous design not in different tiles because it's not going to show up on your um substance painter that's one of the things i've learned and um so just make sure you have it into the zero tile on marvelous design when you're baking those textures okay so let's go ahead and get started and we'll head over as soon as we get done with that we're going to go ahead and head over into blender and rig our bodysuit okay and make sure you guys also uh click save at the bottom of that because if you don't click save and you go on into um the back to the regular um cloth clothing section into the simulation it, it won't save it. You need to press save, okay, before you exit out of here. All right, don't forget about that. So right here, we got all of our textures in here, which is wonderful. I'm so glad I got that um, in here because I didn't know I could do that in Marvelous Design. So I was glad that I was able to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get over into Marvel, uh, to Blender. I'm gonna save my, always save your um, project. This way you could come back and retouch up anything that you need to. I save it in project and I also save it in my garment. I save both of them. Um, I know that sounds kind of weird. Why not just save one? I just do it for both, just in case, okay? So, and if, if you ever decide you wanna sell your projects, you know, your clothing, like the full perm you can definitely do that and just add it all the all there together so that'll help the next creator that wants to buy your stuff so just a thought all right so now that we're in blender you guys all know i've done this so many times with um rigging my um uh, a pose here on um like pants and bodysuit shorts you know that i've done that before so i'm not going to really go through all this with you because I have a video out there already about it on my video on my YouTube so you can check that out anyway we're gonna speed through this part here okay and then we'll head into substance painter I forgot one more step before heading into Substance Painter. And I've already done a bodysuit just like this, so that's why she's wearing one. This one does have a belt to it, which I didn't add to the one that we just made. So I'm going to remove this one and add in the new one. So let's do that now because I want to make sure everything looks good before we start going into Substance Painter. I don't want to waste my time um, texturing a bodysuit that does not uh, fit her. So... Um, I need to make sure everything is good to go and then we can head into substance painter okay because if we have to make adjustments or anything like that we're gonna have to go back re-rig all that other jazz stuff so all right everything looks good I'm just gonna bring this in Okay, so it actually looks really good. It looks just like my other one. Um, I think it turned out pretty good, honestly. And we're going to take a little stroll here. I do want to do a, um, a pose um, once I walk her out. I want to make sure everything looks good underneath. And so far, it looks like it's doing great. No rips, no tears, um, which is perfect. So let me do an A pose with her. I'm going to check underneath. And you can just do the A pose over here if you don't have one. I do have my animations on my right that I usually set, but I just don't have one for an A pose. Okay, it looks really, really good. Um, yeah, no breaks, nothing. So now we can head over into Substance Painter. Okay, as I head into Substance Painter, I've already got one of my other um, 
ones that I was working on earlier. I am going to go ahead and just replace it with my other one, the Monroe Medi uh, bodysuit. So we're just going to do that. And all you have to do is just press new when you get in there. All right, guys. So when you bring in your texture, just make sure you do the from the file and select the where you got where you saved it and then keep it at 2048 for the doc document resolution the normal map format you're going to open gl for that everything else just kind of leave as is just like how i have it here and once you get done just press ok and it'll bring it on in okay now once you get that done, once you get it all in, you're going to look over to the right hand side. You see the layers and then you see the texture set set settings. We need to bake this garment. So once we get this garment bait, we're going to also add in um, where it says the select normal mat where we had baked our textures in Marvelous Design. I'm going to actually bring those over. Some some people don't. I'm going to, because I think it automatically just makes it for you, but I'm going to bring over what I had in Marvelous Design from what I baked over there. So I'm just going to bring them and just slide them over here into the bracket here. You don't have to click on them. You just drag it over. Once you get that done, just go ahead and bake those textures. Press bake. And then it's going to bring up a box now for you. So I use the low poly uh, mesh. And then for the uh, mesh, I always put always. And then for the analysing, I always do four by four. Okay. And then once you get that done, you're just going to press bake the textures, the bake the select textures, and it'll bake them right on through. Once those get done baking, you're going to just press uh, return to uh, painting mode and it'll take you right back to where you were. Okay. Click on that bait or the return. Okay, now I do want to save my project, what I just done. I just want to make sure everything is saved, which I always save my stuff. So I'm going to press save and I'm just going to save it. Now, now we're going to go over here to the um, environment. Now I want to select an environment that's going to kind of show on both sides. It gives it a brighter look on for the both sides not just on one side but because most of the time you'll see just the front as the brighter side not the back but i'm actually going to i like this environment but still in the back it's still kind of shaded so i'm going to go and get the textures that i had um, for the environment i had saved on my desktop you can look for some online that are free that you can you know check out i'm going to show you how to import those so we're going to go down here to this little plus sign at the bottom you're going to go ahead and do that just go through the steps and then i'm going to select the environments that i had saved um, now there are some places out there you can you know uh, register and be a part of a member too which i did and i just got these here i bought these <clears throat> now when you get your environment saved you want to press environment make sure you select as environment okay don't leave them und undefined so now that they're in here i'm going to select uh, a certain environment that i want to use for um, my mesh here so i'm going to go back up here to the um where the display settings are and select the environment map that I want. Okay. You guys can choose whichever environment you want. I'm going to select a certain one that I want. I may try something a little different. I don't know. This one looks pretty good. I actually like this one because it's bright on both sides, which is what I want here. Yes, there is a little bit more steps to this and it does look kind of confusing, but just keep practicing. Don't give up like I wanted to earlier. Don't do that. Keep on doing this. You, you guys can do this. I know you can. If I can do it, you definitely can. <laughs> so now, now that we got that, now we can start actually bringing over a texture that we can apply to our mesh here. So I'm gonna start off, now you do have, now if you have different tiles, 
there's another video I'm going to show you guys how to combine those together and export it out so that you'll be able to add it to your um, avatar or your, you know, like for, for instance, Nevea, I can just add it to her all at once. So I'll show you guys how to do that on the next video. And now we're going to go ahead and start dragging over a different texture. I do have some textures as well that I had saved. I'm going to bring those in again. So just like how I did, do the plus sign. Bring. I'm going to bring all these textures here into the Substance Painter. So let me drag. Actually, I kind of want to look for some different ones. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, I found some more textures that I'm going to use. So I'm going to bring these in. Now you are going to see that some of them may say base material. Some of them may say undefined. Make sure you put those as a base material. Um, some you won't have where you'll be able to, you won't be able to choose that. Just go ahead and put um, texture okay, on them because some of them don't have base material. If you don't have that, just press texture. But for the material stuff, you definitely want to make sure that they're base material. Once you get all those um, saved on here, just go ahead and press import and it'll import it for you. Okay, so once those are imported in your um, Substance Painter, you're going to see that it's just the imported resources that you um, had imported. It's not all the other ones that are included in Substance Painter. If you want to see the other ones, you'll have to press the X on that imported up at the top of the uh, materials there. Okay, so right now I'm just seeing what I imported here. Um, there's a lot of you know, really cool stuff here, a lot of cool textures that I'm interested in. So I think I'm going to choose one. I'm just going to kind of practice and look at them and see what, you know, they look like. This one's, you know, pretty cute and everything, but it's not what I want. Um, I'm going to just kind of keep looking. And if you don't like it, just click on it and, and then delete it. And you can also change the color over here, by the way, at the bottom. You can, you know, definitely shrink it down a little bit if you want. There's ways that you can do that. There's so many things that you can do there to shrink it down. You can color it. Yeah, it's just endless. And then I'm just kind of showing you some of the things that you can do. So next one that I'm going to be doing here. Okay, the jean one. Now the jean one, yeah, you can you can definitely color it as well. And you can shrink it down just like I did. You like scaling it down. Then you can go down here to the color and you can change the color to the way that you want. Me personally, I love pink. Pink is my favorite, but I would not do that to the jeans. I don't think it looks that great, but um, yeah, it's very pretty. So just let you know, you guys got those options that you can do. Okay. Just experiment with your work. Um, you're not going to break it cause you can always reset it. So that's not a problem there. Okay. And once, if you don't like it, just, you know, trash can it. I always trash can mine. I'll just make sure it's highlighted and trash can it. Okay. Now I love this texture. This is one of my favorites cause it's got a lot of wrinkles into it and you can color this one here as well. It's really, really pretty. I like this one. Okay. So I kind of, I like this pattern, which I probably won't stick with it, but I want to go into Photoshop real quick. And then I told you we we're going to be doing Photoshop as well. I want to bring in some stickers. I want to import some stickers, um, some like decals that we can add on our garment. So I'm going to just go in here, kind of clean up some of this stuff so that I can add different things to my garments, um, as well. So some decals. They do have some on substance painter that you can use, but I, I actually like to use my own. Um, if you guys don't want to do that, that's fine, but I'm just going to go in here to, to, um, Photoshop and I'm just going to, and I've also showed you guys how to do Photoshop before too, as well. So, um, on how to make them brighter, more vibrant, um, to add to your clothing. 
So we're just going to go ahead and do, do a couple, couple of these and we'll import them into Substance Painter, okay? Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do, because I want to paint on my um, texture, I'm going to click on the uh, fabric there, the, the mesh, our garment, and I'm going to just uh, make sure to do create a paint layer. So this way I can actually paint on it. It's kind of like doing a black mask, but I just click on the, the garment itself and I do fill layer or not, or, or create a paint layer. So now i'm going to do some designing on my uh pat my uh mesh here and you got you know if you leave it as white it'll be just white but i'm just trying to find out a texture i want to add to my um my garment here and then i'll change the color so right now i'm going to go down here i'm going to change the color a little bit put it as a pink and see what it looks like that's a pretty color I love the color I, like I said I'm, I'm a I love pink but this is not what I want I kind of want to do something a little bit different um, I may take it down to the bottom of the the legs there let me look yeah this is pretty but I want to find something a little bit different I think Maybe a little bit of a lighter brush. I don't know. This looks too thick. So, um, let me see. Okay, I found like a kind of a feathering kind type thing that I like here. It gives it a cool looking um, design on the bottom here. And remember guys, we're just experimenting. I mean, if you want to, you know, create something really cool go for it i'm just experiment experimenting right now on my garment so i'm gonna just see how this looks when i bring it in um this is really cool i like it i'm just gonna wrap it all around make sure you get it all around because it will show in your second life on your avatar so make sure you get up underneath there Get it on both sides because you don't want it looking awkward all right that looks pretty cool i like it just make sure you kind of touch up in some certain areas if you want it to be a little even all right i kind of want to add some design to this um fabric here i want to add a little bit of a splatter of some sort i'm not sure yet uh, let me take a look here and see what we got. This looks pretty cool. Might just go ahead and add these, see what this kind of gives it. That's pretty cool. So I like this. See those cool designs that you can add in here. You could do so much with your garment, guys. You know, the, the different things that you can add in here is just so amazing. I'm so glad I started doing Substance Painter. Um, this is... Um, one of the best things that I've came across so far. So, I, you know, like I said, I do love my Photoshop, but Substance Painter is another amazing tool to have. Now, I kind of want to add a little bit more to it to make it a little bit more vibrant. Um, maybe a different color this time whenever adding. 
maybe like a black color or um, black looks pretty cool or even you can do a teal or a yellow even to make it stand out even more however you guys want to do it now this is just a one that I'm just practicing right now my other one with the yellow I do bring in um, as well so like I said this is going to be kind of a long video because I am new at this substance painter and you know it does um, it does you do you need to take your time trying to figure it all out because there is so much you can do in here I love the yellow And I know that you guys can, I think, get a 30-day free trial with uh, Substance Painter. Um, I did get, for mine, they gave me actually three months um, subscription for three, just to give it a try. <clears throat> um, because <clears throat> it can be expensive, and I, I am going to continue on with this after the three-month period time, so because I do like it a lot. I'm getting more comfortable with it and understanding it. <clears throat> and the more you watch on videos, because there are a lot of videos out there for Substance Painter for Second Life, you can learn so much. Or you can actually go to their website and you can take some of those classes. There are free, there are free classes out there. So I, you know, suggest that you take them if if you never, you know, been in um, Substance Painter. You can definitely do that. Now, I know that some people do a black mask. I don't. I just paint onto the texture, onto the garment. That's how I do that. And I, I love the, the way this looks. I think it's really pretty. But my outcome is with the yellow um, texture that I end up doing later. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea how you guys can do your... Um, textures on substance painter all right so I definitely want to bring in some cool um, decals again I know I've already done some but I, I need to do a different one um, I think I'm gonna add this one in here because it's got the different colors that I want for my um, my uh, garment so let me get these added in here All right, guys, we're going to add those decals into Substance Painter. I'm just going to go at the bottom and press the plus sign and bring those in. Okay, once you bring them in, just click the ones that you want to be added in here. Okay, so for these decals that you're bringing in, you're only going to be able to select texture, not base color, so or base material. So it'll be just texture, and now they're in here. Now I can just go ahead and drag it over into the right um, side here, and I'm just going to lay it on the material. And there you can see how it looks, and you just lay it down and you put base color when you lay it down, okay? Um, so that you know how to do that. Make sure it's a base color. So now you can just kind of move it around. You can even move it on to the top part, the bottoms, wherever you want it and adjust it. Okay. And by the way, turning your, I forgot to tell you guys this, turning your uh, material, you have to control alt or alt 
and then the right mouse button at the same time and turn it, okay, with your mouse. That's how you're turning your, your garment. Sorry, guys, I forgot to tell you about that. It's coming along pretty good. I'm going to just probably... Um, mine saves my work, by the way, because I do have the new updated um, Substance Painter. It's always saving. Um, it, and I'm having internet is issues as well at the same time, so I do apologize. Okay. Everything's looking good. Now, if you don't want one of those decals off, all you have to do is uh, click off one of those eyes on the right hand side over there you just click them off and it'll turn it off for you you can even scale your stuff you know there's just like so much you can do there or you can even scale it on the the actual decal make sure these are all turned on because it gives it a more vibrant look as you can tell see how more vibrant it is make sure those are all on when you're doing that um, if you haven't clicked off it doesn't it kind of uh, is more of a lighter color I noticed I like mine vibrant and more um, glowy looking so I guess that's what you want to say all right now that's all on see how much more brighter it is it looks it looks really good I like it um, I actually like this this piece here I think it's really cool looking um, but I am, like I said, I, I am going to be, that's why I saved my work because I want to be able to come back in here and change it up if I want to. If I want to take all these off, I can take them all off and start all over and make a different pattern. It's so easy and so much fun. So we're going to get ready to, to export it out, the textures, and I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. Before I export this, I definitely want to make sure I have a pattern going around the bot belly area so I really like this stitch cross seam that I that I got here now you can change the colors on that seam so just let you know you have that option I showed you guys how to do that just go down at the very bottom and click the color and you can change the color of the seam so I'm gonna find me a color that I like and I'm gonna um, go around the the whole area here in this part so you need to make sure it lines up because sometimes it will take you off course so just kind of you know go slow with it going around All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Export Textures. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you click on the Output Directory and go to where you want to save your um, textures. Make sure you have that in there. And then for the Output Template, you want to either use the Second Life um, one that they have on the Internet for that there is one in there where I can show you where that's at um, and then you can set that up or if you want I know that some people have used the um, which one is it the other one that's on here is the second or the document channel plus normal plus with the alpha with alpha you can do that one too that's fine and then make sure that your ping is set in 16 bits and I always do the um, dilation and transparent and just leave it at that and then export your textures okay and then once those are done they'll be exported in your file and you'll see them in your file um, you can go back in there and you can look at where your textures are set
And right now they look all clustered, but that's how they're set. That's how pit, uh, Substance Painter does it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Second Life and we're going to bring those in to Second Life. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that next. Okay, so now that we're in Second Life, we're going to start adding these textures to our um, material. So what I'm going to do is just go to edit. We're just going to test it right now. And if you want to go back into Substance Painter, go back into Substance Painter. I never close my Substance Painter while I'm testing them in um, Second Life. So for my first one, I'm going to bring in the base material while doing this and do your normal. Make sure they go into the right spot here. And it's already looking great, guys. Look at that. It's already looking really pretty. I actually love it. Look at the textures into that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, make sure everything looks good. Make sure you got it all in there. Look at that. Looks great. Oh my goodness, these pop-ups are making me mad. But you guys, the textures look wonderful on here really really pretty they showed up beautifully everything looks really awesome oops okay so since we got that done that's how you do it guys it's so it's super easy it really is um it, like i said i know it kind of looks scary at first but take your time with substance painter I promise you, you'll end up loving Substance Painter, just like I do. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, you guys can always reach out with me. Don't forget to leave your comments down below if you have any questions. I'll try to walk you through it. And um, I hope this video helped you guys out. You guys, thank you again for watching my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful and safe day. God bless. Take care.